back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Eileen, and this is Eileen Ashley is Red Hot and Flashy. So today I have a special unboxing. I've never done this before, but Huda Beauty had a, I guess it's a mystery bag. Now, I'm not a big fan of Huda Beauty. I really don't know much about them. Um, I did receive a few things in our boxy charm from them and I kind of like them. So I decided, what the heck, give it a try. I did order the large bag, which I believe cost $90. So hopefully there are some good items in here, but this is the box, I'm gonna, kinda big. I haven't opened it yet, it just arrived. Let's uh, see what's inside. I'm assuming there's no face products in here, like um, foundation or concealer, because they didn't ask uh, any type of questions uh, about your complexion. Okay, let's see. Well, this is what it looks like. Cute tissue paper. It's lips. Now, I knew there was going to be an actual bag inside. It's kind of heavy, so there must be something in it. But then there's also... Oh, this. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I ordered... <laughs> Not only did I order the mystery bag, I ordered a, uh, some kind of bundle that they had on sale. So I'll get into that after the mystery bag. Okay, let's see. Well, here's the bag. That's kind of nice. It says Huda Beauty on the bottom. Kind of looks like a little lunchbox. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have. There is a card here. And it says, we hope... We hope you love your mystery bundle, gorgeous, because we hope you feel, wait, I need my glasses. I know it doesn't say that. Okay. Because we hope you found some new favorites, you'll want to stock up on use code favorites for 15% off of your next purchase. Okay. Let's see. We have um, a sponge, okay, so far I'm not impressed, oh no, an air freshener, I'm less impressed, let me smell it, oh, oh. Oh, oh, it smells like fabuloso. No, something similar to that. Oh no, I'm really not impressed. Okay, let's see. Let's see if she can redeem herself. Okay, what is this? Ah, <laughs> this is what I got from my boxy charm. It's an eyeliner. It's the eyeliner duo. I'm not even gonna open it up because I have one. So this is this is what I have. This is what I found, um, what I got in my BoxyCharm from Huda Beauty. Ow. So one end is, where is it? One end is the uh, cream eyeliner, I guess it's called. And the other end is a liquid liner. I guess you take your chances. Okay, let's see what else do we have. Oh, so Huda Beauty just started a new skincare line called Wishful. So in it, she included the Honey Balm. It's a jelly moisturizer. I'm always down for some moisturizer, especially if it's any good. Oh, pretty color. One of my favorites, purple. Let me give it a smell. doesn't really have too too much scent. It almost smells like soap. Let me see. It's a nice thick, oh yeah, it's a nice thick moisturizer. It feels good on your on my hand. Oh, I like this. Okay, starting to get a little better. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have, I'm not sure what this is, so let me get my glasses. Okay, so we have Diamond Balm Sparkly Lip Balm. It says it's glitter sprayed lip balm. Soothing feel, lightweight formula, sheer and luminous coverage. 
and it is in the color negligee. Looks pretty, actually. Um, the packaging is plastic. Here's what it looks like. Ooh, look how pretty that is. I'm just gonna put it on my hand because I have lipstick on. Oh, that's pretty. It's just a lip balm. You see the shine on there? There you go. That is pretty, I like that. Okay, okay. We're getting a little better. Okay, let's see what we have here. This is the Huda Beauty Lip Strobe. And it is in the color Ritzy. Let's see what that is. It's kind of like a gold. It is a strobing metallic lip gloss, volumizing gleam, sculpting shimmer, comfortable wear. Use alone or on top of your favorite lip color. Lacquer your lips for all over volume and shine. Dab in the center for a more subtle strobing effect. Huda's trick, blot with tissue for a matte and sparkly look. And since it could be used as a topper, I'm just gonna put it on top. Now oh, here's what it looks like. The doe foot, let's see. Wow. That sure did make it shiny. It smells like, actually it tastes like, I don't know, a vanilla-y, chocolatey kind of thing. I don't really smell anything though, but I taste it. Yeah, a little scent. I hear that um, Huda Beauty products are really heavily scented. So, so far, these are not, which I like. Okay, we have two more things, I believe, in the bag. Yeah, so this is the Huda Beauty Summer Highlighter Palette. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, I love the, I love the cover that it comes with, look pretty but I love these shades actually I was just looking for a purple highlighter for a um for a look I did with purple so now I have it if I ever do that look again yeah look how pretty that is here let me put it on my hand it's more like a lilac color but let's see yeah that's pretty see it in the middle there <laughs> Oh, that's so pretty. I like, I like it. Better, better. And there's one more product. It is, it looks like an eyeshadow palette. The Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette Remastered. I was kind of hoping it was the Naughty Palette, but that's okay. Oh, this is pretty. Look at how pretty. I hope it's not all reds. <laughs> oh, again, with the... Um, protector. I like that. That's pretty. These are beautiful colors. They really are. Here we go. Oh, there's some pretty colors in there. I especially like this uh, color called Fling. It's a shimmer. Let's see. I don't want to drop my bag here. Um, let's put it up right there. Can you see that? And I love Pink Diamond. Oh my God. These, these feel really soft. Okay, let me do it up close. And I'll do it on my wrist. That's so pretty, isn't it? Oh, I can't wait to play with this palette. Beautiful colors. That's it for the um, mystery bag. What do I think? Um, well, would I spend $90 on it again? Probably not. Um, I'm sure if you add everything up, it probably does come to that. But I think the two best things are the uh, eyeshadow palette, the highlighter palette. Um, you know, I mean, unfortunately I already have this, but if I didn't, I'd probably love it. Um, I don't know, I don't really need a lip balm. It's pretty and all. But it would have been nice to get another lipstick from her. And this is pretty. I like this. The sponge, I don't know about. Certainly this is probably going to go in the trash. 
Sorry, Huda. Oh, I forgot. I do really like this. The uh, Wishful Honey Bomb. We'll see how it works, though. Because just because it felt good doesn't mean it works. Um, let me read you the directions. It says, to apply a small amount to clean skin, add more as needed. Gent gently rub until fully absorbed. Use daily, morning, and evening. It does not say what it will do. Suitable for all skin types. Oh, no. No. It's got lavender in it. I'm allergic to lavender. Let's hope I'm not allergic to this. But it says, gentle, simple, effective. Lavender, honey, niacinamide, and turmeric. Um, luminosity, hydration, visibly smaller pores, which I want, and instant soothing. Um, I'm hoping I am not allergic to this because I am allergic to lavender and most products. Uh, I, I know I'm allergic to lavender candles, lavender soaps. Hopefully not this. I guess we'll find out. Okay, this is giving me a headache and it's going in the trash. Woo! Oh my God, it stinks. The bag though is really cute. Now for what I purchased. And I don't remember how much it was. I think I, I, think I spent like $30 on it. I don't, her bags are really cute. So if you see this, it's one of those padded envelopes. It's resealable almost like a sandwich bag, so you could use it again. So I bought this, um, it's called the Darling Kit, and I got it because it was on sale. What else did I get? Oh, so I think you got a free product, so I tried uh, their sample of their perfume. Oh, I hope it doesn't smell like that freshener, but let's see, what did I get in here I forgot? All of her stuff is in plastic, which maybe is cheaper than cardboard, but it's certainly not better for our environment. So it comes in a little bag like this. Oh, it's a little makeup bag. Okay. I think her stuff is overpriced. It sure it is. So it came with the uh, Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions. I also got that in the Boxy Charm. I think I got. I ordered some extras. I got um, the pastels collection. I think I got um, the purple and the red one. I don't remember what they're called. Ruby and something else. Am Amethyst? Yeah, I think so. So now I have the uh, topaz to go with it. Let me see what it looks like real quick. Yeah, these are pretty. There you go. Okay. Let's see, what is this? This is, I have my glasses right on my head. Okay, this is the Kaoli, Kaoli Musk in Vanilla. I hate vanilla. Oh, so it comes Lotus Flower, Jasmine, Musk, Vanilla, and Sandalwood. I don't know if I like this, but we'll find out. I do this to you guys all the time. I forget to write down the prices, so I'll put it down below. I do know that the uh, mystery bag was like $90. I have to tell you, I like Jeffree Star's mystery boxes better. <laughs> oh, oh, so this is what it looks like. I don't know if there's two different scents here. I think there is because it did say something about uh, musk number 12 and then vanilla number 28. So I guess there is two different scents here. I'm afraid to try and open it. What if it spills? Oh, it's a roll on. Ooh, that smells so good. Oh, definitely. Oh, I love that. Okay, what's which scent is which? I'm assuming it's on the bottom. Oh, I can't see that even with my glasses on. Oh, it's right here. Oh my God, Vanilla 28 and I hate vanilla. But this smells so good. It smells really good. Okay, this one is the musk. Let's see. Oh my, oh my God. I have to admit, they both smell amazing. Mmm, I like. This I purchased in this little bundle. So 
And I also got a Power Bullet Matte Lipstick. Oh, oh, in the color interview, it looked much lighter online. This might be a little too dark for me. Here's the packaging, it's really pretty. Oh, good, maybe not. <laughs> I'm gonna take a second and wipe this off. I really wanna see what it looks like. It's just a really nice nude lipstick. I'm so glad. <laughs> this is the color it looked like online. I was so glad that it's not the color on here. It made it look so dark. Oh, this is what I was looking at. Okay. Oh, I really like it. Actually, I love it. I guess it's gonna be one of my favorites. Let's take a look at the free um, sample that I got. This is the K. Ali uh, collection. I think it says 01. Oh, there's four, four different fragrances. So we have Elixir 11, which is red apple, ro I'm not even gonna read this, Rose de Mai Absolute, Jasmine, Sambok Absolute, Vanilla, and Patchouli. Well, let's check that out. Oh, I have to spray it to smell it. Let's see. I'm going to stink. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? Wine. <laughs> I'll get pulled over. <laughs> and the officer will think I'm drunk. <laughs> it smells like red wine. But of course, that's when it's first sprayed. So, you know, they always change the scents. Okay, the second one is Citrus 08. Bergamot, pink grapefruit, rose centifolia, musk, and oak moss. I hope I pronounced all of that right. Let's see, we gotta spray again. Oh, very florally. Oh, that smells good. The next one is musk 12. And which one do I have? Musk 12. It smells awesome. And vanilla 28. So I have both of these in this. So I'm kind of glad because they both smell amazing. Even though I hate vanilla, it really smelled amazing. So I got two extras uh, to help the other one last longer, I guess. Let me know down below, did you get the uh, Huda Beauty um, mystery bag? Would you, get again? Would you get it again if you did? I personally wouldn't, um, although I liked what I got, except for that air freshener. Oh, sorry. I don't know if I would buy the bundle again, but you know, I'm new to her products, so I haven't tried any uh, foundations or anything like that, but I understand, you know, she has amazing reviews out there. Um, I do love the lipstick. Mm, I really do. It's nice and soft, creamy. It doesn't even feel like you have lipstick on, which is really a good thing. Um, again, this smells amazing. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to put some on. Let me see what else. I love the, um, the packaging, uh, as far as the, um, the little diamond makeup bag. I like that. It's not very big, but it'll hold, um, you know, if you're going away somewhere, some travel size makeup, it'll definitely hold that. Again, I really forget how much I paid for that little bundle. Um, but I do know, like I said, the mystery bag was $90. Um, I think it was expensive for what I got. I don't think I would purchase it again, but I think I'm going to wear musk. Mm. Yeah. Oh my God. That smells so good. Hmm. If you guys were Huda Beauty's, um, fragrances. Let me know what you guys think and what you think about Huda Beauty's products. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope if you got a mystery bag, you loved everything that you got. <laughs> Curious to know, did you get an air freshener and what did you think about it? <laughs> if you liked today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. It helps my channel out and if you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button down below. Come join the family. 
Don't forget to hit the little notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And as always, I will put in the description below what it is that I got today. Until next time, everybody. Bye. <laughs>